No, it's been a great night. We I said to the, that's the press, we had a, a real good mix of some youngsters with some good senior pros, and I thought we showed a fantastic spirit. We worked hard for each other, both in attack and defence, and you know we reaped the rewards really. So really pleased with the boys. Obviously, we wanted to win the, the tournament um, going on last season. You know, Gloucester winning it. Um, you know, we're a little bit gutted, but at the same time, we're through to the final, and you know we look forward to it. I think a lot of the teams are putting strong sides out this season. Um, you know, obviously they want to market them, you know, their team as well this year. And, you know, they'll be going out to win as well. I think the tournament's the next couple of days. So, you know, we need to rest up over the weekend and work hard. And, you know, like I said, turn up next Friday and put a show on, really. Obviously it was a, a tough, tough night at the office and frustrating, I think, more than anything. We, we, played the, we played the rugby we wanted to. It was only just too late for us. And, I mean, obviously the first two games to lose by a couple of points, I mean, it's hard for the lads, but it's... It's good for us in a way. We, we know what we need to take from it. We know how we play. We know how we can play. So I mean, no, the boys can take a lot of massive, massive positives from it. A lot of pride. It's a fantastic event. You know, you can see that it's a sellout at uh, King's Home, and uh, you know, King's Home is never an easy place to go. But you know, with the with the crowd making the noise and you know cheering you on, it's yeah, it's a fantastic day and a fantastic tournament. It's great being Gloucester on their own patch. That's always uh, something. Uh which you'll be proud of, you know, the way we come back against Bath was outstanding. So, um, you know, that's the starting point. Let's just take one game at a time and see what happens next week.